Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial where today we're going to be adding in a thirst and hunger into this survival system that we've been working on. So we're picking up where we left off from the last video. If you haven't seen that, uh, I'll put a link on the screen or down in the description to that last video and you can get up to date from there. You can also download the starting of this project uh, through my social QR link in the description or you can scan the QR code on the screen right now and you can uh, download the project from there and follow on through and, and learn how, uh, how we're gonna build out this survival system. So as I said, we're gonna do the thirst and hunger and, um, and balance them out just a little bit and then probably in the following tutorial we'll add in some some way of when we're running or moving that it's going to affect how our hunger and thirst uh, works as well but that we'll save that for another video so in order to get started we need to come out to our canvas here and we added in this little health bar down here which is just a slider and um, what we're going to do is duplicate this now i added in i added in a few icons here so I have a heart a drink and a piece of chicken for food and I've just converted all these um, images to sprites so they can be used on the UI but what we're going to do is I'm going to rename this one here to uh, the health slider and then I'm going to duplicate this and we're going to create we'll put this as the hunger so, hunger slider, and then I'm just going to come down and change this icon to a piece of chicken. And then I'm going to duplicate this one again, and just put that down below, and I'm going to call this one the, the Thirst Slider. And then I'm just going to replace that icon with a drink here. Um, and we're not going to do any mad anchoring to the UI with this because this isn't a UI tutorial but we have our three indications down here now of um, health, hunger and thirst so if we click play we're here moving about the scene and the, the thirst and the hunger doesn't do anything at the moment but if we were to jump off here we can see that our health is affected once we take fall damage so what we need to do is we need to add in some variables here into our survival script that we wrote in the last video and we're going to do the hunger first so I'm going to create a new header section and I'm going to call it a uh, player hunger and we're going to have a public flow for max uh, hunger do 100 by default and public flow, uh, hunger. So this is going to be our current hunger. Um, then we'll do a we'll add in our slider as well. And this is going to be hunger slider. So with that there, we can now start adding this in. So if we go back over. And click on our first person player we can see that we have these uh, new variables here so we have our max hunger hunger and our sl hunger slider so if we add in our hunger slider here now we'll be able to access that and change its value over time what we'll do is we'll do um, at the hunger slider value is equal to the hunger divided by max hunger um, and then we're going to end up doing the same then as well for the player thirst but now we need a way of um, putting the hunger down as time goes on so we can use the same code that we commented out here from before that we were using with the health and instead use it with the hunger And what this will do, this is going to decrease our hunger by two every frame. So if we come back out here now and we click play, 
we can see our hunger is all the way down at the bottom because we didn't specify how much hunger we actually want to start off with. So if we were to start with um, say 65% hunger, you can see there that our hunger starts from down below and is decreasing quite fast. And this is probably a bit too fast. So that's why we are going to add in another variable here. And this is going to be a public float and it's going to be uh, hunger hunger over OT so hunger over time equals uh, 0.02f let's say by default and then we're going to use that hunger over time to be to be the minus by so we're going to, instead of it being two we're going to use the hunger over time so now when we come back in if you look over in the inspector there you can see our hunger is decreasing by a much smaller rate and it, this is quite slow as well so that's kind of probably more realistic for your hunger decreasing but now what we're going to do is we're going to add in our thirst as well so we're going to do our header we're going to do player thirst public float uh, max thirst Public first equals zero F and um, oops. And um, then we're gonna do also a thirst over time. And this by default is gonna be probably zero point zero eight. This thirst decreases faster, and then we're gonna do a public. Public slider, uh, thirst slider, and leave it at that. So with the hunger slider here, we can duplicate that, and we can put this as our thirst slider because the value of thirst divided by our thirst over time, or sorry, max thirst, our max thirst. And then we can duplicate our hunger one here and do our thirst equals thirst minus our thirst over time. And now if we come back into our unity here, we're looking for our thirst slider now. So we're gonna drag that canvas element in here, the slider. And now if we click play, our thirst is going to be set to zero. We didn't specify how much thirst we want to start off with, so we'll say we'll start off with, we'll just do 100 thirst. And click play. So now we can see that our thirst and our hunger are both decreasing uh, as we're playing, but they're just decreasing over time. We're not adding any acceleration onto this for when we're moving or for doing any other activities throughout the game. So this is just going to decrease over time and that, that's pretty much it. And now what we need to do is we need to check for what happens when our hunger goes to zero and our water is gone to zero. Do we start taking damage or when do we start taking damage off our health? But we'll go through that in the next video. To top off this video now, we're just going to tidy up in here a little bit. Am I going to do a void? And this is going to be update sliders. And I'm just going to take all these slider updates and put them in here. And then I'm just going to call this update sliders at the end of this update function. It's basically like the same thing. It's just so we can keep it um, more tidy. And then as we're going along, we'll be probably adding in more logic here as well. So that is it for our hunger and thirst. Um, in the next video, what we'll do is we'll add some, um, we'll add some events in for what happens when our hunger gets to a certain level or what happens for when our thirst gets to a certain level, what, what needs to be done or when do we start taking uh, damage off our hearts. So until then, uh, do uh, rate, comment and subscribe. 
uh, check out the last tutorial and check out my social QR for all my other social links and uh, to download this project. Uh, thanks again guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!